this headline. Uh, I'm sure many of you saw this if you logged onto Twitter today. Chris Pratt, wackos on right and left make U.S. more partisan than it is. Oh, is that so? So wackos on the left and the right. So Chris Pratt isn't some Republican or Trump supporter, as people had previously thought. He's an enlightened centrist who is going to go out of his way to compare fascists to the left. Now, I'd like to know what his definition of a right winger and a left winger is. But for people who don't necessarily know, leftists in this country, wackos like myself, we want to give everyone health care. We want to expand civil rights and civil liberties. We also are in favor of freedom overall, expanding freedom, freedom of speech, letting people engage in boycotts, protests, letting people have economic opportunity. Whereas the far right in this country, well, they want a white ethno state. They also want a theocratic white ethno state. So not only are they against freedoms more generally speaking, they quite literally currently are stripping away crucial civil liberty, liberties, crucial constitutional protections that women's activists have fought for for decades. And they're not even done yet. But yet they're the same, right? Ethno state, universal health care. It's hard to tell these two groups apart, right? I, I just, I can't tell the difference. Come on, man. If you're an enlightened centrist who genuinely cannot see the difference between the left and the right in this day and age, then functionally you're siding with the fascists because you're legitimizing them. You're conflating people who want health care and freedom with people who want a white ethno state, a state built to the exclusion of people of color, to the exclusion of religious minorities and atheists. Doesn't sound like that's the enlightened take, right? But yeah, no, he's an enlightened centrist. Contrary to popular belief, he's not a not a Republican. So Chris Pratt says, tiny bands of vocal wackos on both the right and the left are fueling political division across the country. There's an illusion of uh, that we've gotten more partisan, but the truth, if you're looking at it from my understanding, which we shouldn't because you seem like you have a very low IQ, is there's a very small group of wackos on the right and a very small group of wackos on the left, the Guardians of the Galaxy and Jurassic World Dominion star told ITK in a recent interview. Each of them are sort of echoed through mainstream media. Really? So far left uh, extremists, wackos are on mainstream media? Which one? Are you saying that MSNBC is far left? Like, where are these far left voices? I really want to know what he believes constitutes a left winger and a right winger, because I, I would guarantee his perception is skewed. Uh, whether it be Fox or whether it be CNN. Oh, so it's not even MSNBC, it's CNN. I just had to read a sentence further. Holy shit. So does anyone like, hey, all those far left wackos on CNN? <laughs> Look, if you're an enlightened centrist, uh, centrist, my dude, CNN is your network. This is the centrist news network, okay? This is the network for enlightened centrists who just, they support the status quo, they opt for institutionalism, but I mean, this enlightened centrist thinks CNN is far, far left. What a fucking moron. And a lot of times there's political posturing to try to get onto Fox or try to get onto MSNBC or CNN, the 43-year-old actor said. I don't know what that means, political posturing to get onto these networks. I mean, I, I, you need to explain that point more. Pratt said, there's a big group in the middle, politically, that instead of moving right or left, is kind of moving up and down, really. So he's, I guess, envision envisioning like this... Uh, separate four quadrants, the political compass, maybe, where it's like authoritarian, um, Democrat, small d Democrat, and then uh, left, right? So people are moving up and down between authoritarianism and democracy. What are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying makes no fucking sense? Chris Pratt is so stupid. And I love how he probably did this interview with Men's Health to improve his image since people hate him and dunk on him all the time but he's just making matters worse like i already didn't like chris pratt but my feelings weren't necessarily strong but this interview single-handedly moved me into the oh i really fucking hate this douchebag because he's a he's full of shit and he's trying to sound smart he's trying to sound like an enlightened centrist but he sounds like an uninformed dipshit 
Uh, so they're moving up and down and becoming disenfranchised and disengaged from the political process. Wow. Wow. So such a wonderful, profound take. Nonpartisans, he said, uh, feel like no one's really representing them. Yeah, they're representing rich assholes like you. Pratt said he and his team and the team behind his latest project veered it a little bit away from politics. Pussy, that is an enlightened centrist thing to do. You veer away from politics because you don't want to ruffle any feathers. Too late, because to take this stance that the far left and the far right are the same, you're taking a stance, buddy. But it's not the stance that you think uh, think that you're taking. You're siding with the fucking fascists. Uh, from refocusing the Prime video series, The Terminal List, into more of a psychological nail-biter compared to the best-selling 2018 political th uh, thriller of the same name that it's based on, authored by former Navy SEAL Jack Carr. Oh, I'm sure that's going to be fucking great. Okay, I don't want to hear about the dumbass show. Ultimately, this is a story... Okay, don't care about the... Uh, story that or whatever the fuck show he's promoting but he did this um article in um men's health or this interview in men's health and if you could see here look he has a normal car he's wearing normal clothes like normal peasants right he's a peasant just like all of us he's wearing open-toed shoes just like all of us very relatable um so he's going to explain how he's not actually this fundamentalist christian who's homophobic as he uh as it seemed like he was right but i'm going to tell you why his explanation here is complete bullshit because as a former fundamentalist cultist myself i know all the semantic games that they play and he's playing all of them a few years ago he explains he was asked to give a speech at the mtv movie and tv awards as the recipient of a generation award a lifetime achievement honor for people with a lot of life left to live and he was instructed to say something inspiring so standing next to a trophy made of golden popcorn he spoke from the heart Quote, God is real. Citation needed. God loves you. Um, okay, you have to prove that God is real in order to then prove that God loves me. But I'm being a little bit nitpicky. God wants the best for you. He also said, don't be a turd. But people mostly just remember the God part. He's just so quirky. Don't you love this forced quirkiness? Balthazar sent in $10. Thank you so much, Balthazar. Every time Chris Pratt face plants, I call it a Pratt fall. <laughs> I wish I had a but um sound effect. Instead, we'll apply this one to Chris Pratt. Beta. Okay. Maybe it was hubris for me to stand up on stage and say the things that I said. I'm not sure. I I'm not sure I touched anybody. You didn't. We don't want to hear about your dumb fucking religion, you piece of shit. Fuck your religion. Shut the fuck up about your religion. Holy shit, I'm so tired of evangelicals pushing their religion down all of our throats. Um, what's the meme? Religion is like a penis. It's fine if you have one and you're proud of it, but if you take it out of your pants and start waving it in people's faces, we're going to have a motherfucking problem. Yeah. Abide by that principle, evangelicals. I don't give a fuck about your goddamn religion, okay? I don't believe in God. I don't subscribe to your religion, and I don't want to be part of your little book club, so fuck off. Stop putting it in our fucking faces. Holy shit. He offers, and he gets why people were put off. Religion has been oppressive as fuck for a long time, he says, as we walk over a tiny footbridge, the words spilling out in an emotional tidal wave. Oh, please. I didn't know that I would kind of, an emotional tidal wave as if any of this is organic. Before this interview, I'm sure that he rehearsed this line and as an actor, tried to act it out. Shut the fuck up. I didn't know that I would kind of become the face of religion when really I'm not a religious person. I, I, okay, stop right here. So when I was a fundamentalist Christian, this was a little semantic game that we would play. So if somebody said, are you religious? You always answer no. You reject that label because to be religious doesn't necessarily mean that you're a true follower of Jesus Christ because tradition uh, traditions are associated with religion. So to be religious means you follow the traditions of man and not God specifically. So, you know, if you're religious... You might not still have Jesus in your heart. You can go to church all the time. You can, you know, go to church every Sunday and Wednesday and do Bible studies and take communion, whatever the fuck. Um, but you're not really a follower of Christ unless you accept Jesus into your heart. So religion is kind of like this middleman in the eyes of fundamentalists to where you don't have to go to church to be a follower of Jesus. So if you cut out religion and just follow Jesus directly then that's really the essence of Christianity. So if people, like if you're making your Jesus pitch to them and they say, well, I'm not, I don't like religion, you could respond 
by being pretty personable and relatable by saying, oh, well, I don't like religion too. I hate religion. In fact, religion historically has done a lot of bad things, which is why I cut out the middleman and I stopped being a religious person and um, I just started directly worshiping Jesus. That's the game that he's playing here. I think there's a distinction between religious, adhering to the customs created by man, boom, there it is, um, often, uh, oftentimes appropriating the awe reserved for who I believe is a very real God, and using it to control people, to take money from people, to abuse children, to steal land, to justify hatred, whatever it is, the evil that's in the heart of every single man has glommed on the back of religion and come along for the ride. Right, which is why you just have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Is that is that it? Is that what it is, Chris Pratt? So fucking full of shit. So full of shit. I believe, but I get called atheist. Even if I follow Jesus, apparently I need a label. Embrace the atheism. Embrace the atheist label. Because if you don't follow every single tenet of their draconian religion, you're as good as like a deviant in their eyes anyway. These people are, are psychopaths. Uh, say what you will about Pratt. Oh, I will. I will, bitch. Uh, but these are big ideas he's openly wrestling with, and it's something I can't imagine another celebrity in his shoes saying. What? You can't imagine? This is a celebrity who was outed for going to a church that he claims he didn't go to, but Hillsong Church, and then, like, people realize he's this giant religious piece of shit, and so you're shocked that he's talking about religion and trying to do, like, a little bit of PR damage control? Really? So he issued a statement... Uh, it has recently been suggested that I belong to a church which hates a certain group of people and is infamously anti-LGBTQ. Uh, nothing could be further from the truth. I am a man who believes that everyone is entitled to love who they want and free from judgment from their fellow man. And that's fine. Great. Beautiful. But if you still belong to a church, any other church besides like an Episcopal church, then if you're giving money to that church odds are you're still supporting homophobia ask your church so he goes to a different church he claims uh not like the hillsong church but if he were to ask his pastor hey my friend wants to get married to a man would you marry him that pastor would say fuck no he loves prattling on balthazar's on a roll today <laughs> so i mean these churches like okay someone in my family literally had the audacity to invite me to church deeply offensive to even assume that i would entertain that for a second but um, they invited me to church and um, I said, well, no, I'm not welcome at church. I'm gay. And also, I don't believe in God. And their response was, oh, well, no, this church is very welcoming. They let homosexuals come to their church, too. We actually have a lot of gay members. And my response was, oh, really? They're welcoming. So would that pastor uh, perform a gay wedding and host a gay reception? And then the answer is, well, I mean, uh, maybe he wouldn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what the fuck I thought, bitch. That's what the fuck I thought. Okay, the only churches who are actually accepting are Episcopal churches. That's it. That's the only churches that are really accepting. Um, maybe Scientologists of LGBTQ plus people, but you may be worse off if you go to that church <laughs> than any other church because it's a cult. I mean, they're all cults, but, you know, uh, yeah. So I I'm, I'm basically over this article at this point. Um, but I, I just want to show you, look at how relatable and quirky he is. He is shooting the, uh, water hose like a gun. He's acting really silly. He's like, psh, psh, psh. he's just like us folks. These celebrities are just like us. So when we bust out the guillotines and start, you know, um, eating the rich, don't eat him. He wants you to know he loves you. He's not this religious dipshit. He wants you to know that he loves LGBTQ plus people. Don't come for him. Okay, bud. I mean, these fucking like gifs in here are very cringeworthy like what what is this what is this imagine like them saying okay i've got the camera ready okay action and he's like throwing food in his mouth like what the fuck is that uh, okay i'm sorry rich people are so weird i'm gonna come do not come. 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 Come.